As you know, we've been working in the area of community pharmacy now for about 30 years, and uh, like you, we're all suffering from all the current changes. And uh, as a result of this, we not predicted it, but we sort of smelt something was going to come along, and we thought that we were going to go through a massive period of change. And one of the things that we thought, instead of just thinking about it, that we might go to pharmacies and actually on the ground get their views about these changes and what's going to happen with those changes. So that then started the concept of us, how do we go and measure the changing trends in community pharmacy, particularly at a time when uh, there's a lot of change and a lot of people are suffering and in terms of having to change their way to work. So we thought, let's start some sort of scientific rigorous survey that we can do on a regular basis. And that's where the barometer came along. All those things are hitting us all at once. No wonder that we are having a, an industry of change. You can't do business like you've done in the last years. You've got to make some really decisions of looking at your business and doing it. It just would not exist. You know, I get figures of about say, 100 pharmacies are in trouble in New South Wales. You know, I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's the sort of figures you get. So, you know, community pharmacy infrastructure and the way we do business is under considerable pressure, and I don't really think I need to tell you that because you're suffering it probably more than I am, but it'll certainly need to be changed. And the issue is, you know, what do you change to and how do you change and how do you manage that transition? Our view was that if we could measure what the industry was doing, then we can perhaps help the industry survive and prosper through using research data. So the three barometers, essentially what we do is we measure the confidence level. We look at how you believe the value of your business is going to change over time. We then measure some opportunities and challenges. And in this particular wave, the topic was expanded accelerated price reduction. In the second one, yeah, out of this one, people told us that services were a big opportunity, so we dug a bit deeper there. The third bit is we want to identify markets for you that will make you think about whether you can expand your business. The dispensary side is going to have less prominence, still a very important element, but OTC is an area that we felt that we're going to try and expand. So over the next sort of probably two years or so, we're going to look at markets that we want to help you identify so that then you can have options in developing your business. In April, this was just before accelerated price reduction. Look at this massive drop in this one. So in a year, there's been over a 20% drop in confidence in the industry. You know, that's massive. So all this sort of negative stuff that you hear is reflected in this data. People are unsure. People don't think it's a good industry to get into. That has a tremendous impact on a whole lot of people. The next thing we did is look at what the expected change in value of the business will be. Okay? And we measure that in one year and in three years. Again, let me just repeat this key message. You can't do business like you've done.